Yes, they do. They do? Oh, sorry. <laughs> Tyler, uh, what was the difference tonight as opposed to a week ago for you guys? Um, you know, I, I thought our defense was, was really good in the, se- in the first half. You know, we had some, some lapses in the second half, but uh, we're, we're really focusing on, on being a better team defensively and um, not giving up easy baskets. And, um, we were able to get a good lead in the first half. I think San Francisco last week was happy to have their fresh legs. They didn't play for a week. You guys this week, can you tell a big difference coming in? You know, at our age, we should always have fresh legs, but, you know, it, it obviously was, you know, we had a whole week off. And anytime that happens, you come out with a little more energy. Uh, maybe not more energy, but you come out definitely focused because you've been sitting around just practicing and you want to play someone else. And so uh, it was great to be able to come out with our guys and um, to get a win, get on the path again. Was it tough to have to sit back and uh, just remember those losses and have all that time off to just to not be able to get right back into it, Tyler? Um, you know, it, it was tough. It, it's hard sitting on a loss for a week, but um, our team's trying to look forward. There's still a ton to play for, and uh, we're, we're coming to practice ready to work and, and get better as a team. And um, I'm, I'm happy with the win tonight and looking forward to the next few weeks. Tyler, I think you, Brandon, and Matt, struggled to shoot a week ago and tonight you were like 25 of 37 the three of you is that attributed to their defense or or fresh legs or what um you know i, I don't know what, what you can attribute it to you know we we come out every night with the same mindset that we're going to play on attack and and try and be aggressive and um we we're able to all of us were able to get in a rhythm tonight and, and knock down shots there was a lot going on out there with halftime and all that stuff. But somewhere in there, uh, Brandon passed Kresmer Chosic on the scoring list. Uh, I think he's 12th or something like that. But that's a significant guy for Brandon to come across. What are both your thoughts on Brandon and what he's getting done over the course of his career? You know, Brandon's a, a great guy, a great great teammate on the floor and off. He makes uh, you know all his guys better. And he's, he's been really fun to play with. You know, we were freshmen together coming in, and so I came back, and just to see the way he's developed is, um, is pretty amazing. That's good to know. I'll, I'll tell him congrats. I didn't know Brandon, just, just pass him up. But, uh, no, Brandon's great. You know, and I, I think one of the things that makes him special is that uh, uh, he's versatile in the post, that he, he has lots of different moves, and he's pretty quick on his feet. And so uh, big centers sometimes have a problem. He can, he can oftentimes get around them. And so... Um, it doesn't surprise me. Brandon's a, a great player. Um, you know, we have many great teammates on this team. So, congratulations to him. And also, at halftime, obviously, we missed it. Uh, but Ronald and Mel, what a great accomplishment for them to uh, retire their jerseys. Um, and so, just give a little shout out to them as well. Did you guys get to meet them at all? Yeah, they came. They came in and they they talked to us, and we got to meet them. So, both really great guys. What they say to you before the game? You know. Anything? You know, they just bri- they just briefly talked to us when we when we talked to them about uh, about how basketball is a, a team game. You know, and I obviously they played together, um, and you know they talked to us about that just briefly about how you know they're going up together just because they they were teammates and it's a team game. Um, not just one of them was going up, and, you know, to retire his jersey, but uh, so it gave us a special uh, special message to just remember that uh, this is a team game, and so that's what kind of our focus going out in this game. Craig, you started. Do you attribute that to good practice? Is that a matchup thing? Or? You know, you never know what, what, you know, coach, we just, whatever coach wants, you know, it, it could be a matchup thing. It could be, you know, coach sees something, you know, I, you know, next game I might not be starting. You know, it's, we're all in this together. And so, you know, whatever happens, happens. And um, so I don't want to attribute it to any one thing. Um, just happy to be here and do whatever I can to help this team. It has seemed that you've played just about every role uh, so far this year, coming off the bench, starting little minutes, a lot of minutes tonight, 10 points, 7 assists. Uh, how did it feel to get so many minutes, 36 it looks like? You know, it, it obviously feels good. Everyone wants to play. Um, but, you know, the thing about this team which makes it special is that every player on the team has a good attitude, you know, and the guys on the bench um, that aren't playing minutes, you know, I've been there, they're just as important as the guys on the court. Um, the attitude and the positivity that everyone brings is what makes the team special. So we need to keep that going. Is there anything different uh, before your game against Utah State that you'll do with uh, the short rest? Um, you know, recovery is obviously big. Each individual just got to take care of their body. But uh, we're we're excited to play. I think uh, we we you know a week off does does a lot for your legs, and we'll be ready to play Tuesday.
been a while since you played Utah State. It seems strange to be playing them there in February. What, what will Tuesday night be like? Uh, it's, it's always a battle. I mean, they're always uh, uh, ready to play, and um, we will expect a, a fight for sure. Any other questions? Thanks, guys. Thanks.